Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I know you're going to love my videos. I got hundreds of them just like this that'll help you pick out vehicles or just satisfy your curiosity about vehicles. So, all right, so now you hit the subscribe button. Let's continue. I'm here at East Coast Honda in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And so John here, I'll leave his contact information in the description. John is a really nice guy. He hooked me up with this 2016 Honda Pilot to show everybody this vehicle is fresh on the market. And I think this may be the only one they have. I'm not sure, but it's just like that new. So anyways, really awesome, awesome. I mean, Honda Pilot's been a really uh, dominator in the market in a lot of ways and I think this one's really going to um, you know continue that tradition so this one is sitting on 20 inch aluminum wheels really sporty looking uh, aluminum wheels here too they have the the combination of the alloy shining through and then you have that uh, gray paint um, around the edge and look at the the rotors there they are heavy, really well ventilated and thick really heavy-duty stuff right there okay and at any time in the video you have a question just pause it and and just leave it in the comment section I'll try to do my best to answer it plus there's a bunch of experts that uh that like to answer questions in the comments as well and so that'll give them something to do so don't mind pausing and typing anytime you want so here in the front we have the projector low beams and the reflector high beams and I can't really tell it doesn't say anywhere but they when I turn them on they have a little bit of a yellowish kind of yellowish to me so they have a uh, I think they're halogen so that's what I'm getting at so uh, I'm not sure 100% sure because I can't confirm it right now it does have the the fog lights there and then you have some accent lighting which uh, hopefully one day soon I'll be able to do this vehicle at night so you can see all the the cool lighting it has all right so what do you think so far leave it in the comments all right so now let me dig out the key out of my pocket this does have a proximity key there's the key you can see it has some buttons on it now it does have remote start which I'm not going to use right now because it's very low on gas because it hasn't actually been to the gas station yet so <laughs> so anyways this is just the key right here and it's it's a proximity key so it senses the vehicle senses this key nearby so basically you can unlock and unlock with the key itself or you can just walk up and to lock it you would just push this button and that locks all the doors to unlock it all you have to do is put your hand so like this can be in my pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my pocket to show you. And I just put my hand back here and it senses my hand, it senses the key nearby, it knows I'm safe and it unlocks the doors. So that's the proximity key system there. I'm sure there's a different name for it, but that's what I call it. So here's the inside of the passenger door. Really well laid out. Really, really well laid out. You've got the, the tan and the black combination there, plus you have that shiny uh, black accent as well then you got your window and door lock controls but look at the storage pockets where they're placed you have your bottle holder up high in front of you which is right where you want to have it and then you have all these other like kind of like a shelf system a whole three-tier shelf system to put stuff in because basically you always have something in your hands and you want a pl place to put them when you get in the vehicle you don't want to sit there and hold everything so a bottle of water your cell phone all that stuff you can before you even get in the car you can just you know put your stuff right there put your bottle there and you hop in and everything's there and then when you get out it's right there easy to access you don't have to fish through the car and try to find your stuff really like that feature so here's the power seat on the passenger side and you got the forward and back plus the uh, the tilt feature so here's the very comfortable extremely comfortable leather seats in this vehicle. The Honda Pilot has always been a comfortable vehicle and this one's no exception. It's 
kind of like a gray or a tan I can't really tell I'm not the best with colors right especially with what the lighting is right now and let's take a look at the glove compartment pretty pretty standard nothing special there not too big not too small pretty much what you would expect in a vehicle like this but it is locking it does have the ability to lock the glove compartment which is cool and look at the leg room also this the seat is quite a bit off to the floor so you have that you know chair feel to it instead of a car seat so your knees aren't sticking way up in the air for those people who are tall you got the privacy glass in the back where you can have some privacy but you can see out quite well so here is the yeah, same thing with the back door it's just just it's extremely well laid out you got the cup holders right there easy to get to place to put your cell phone I mean it's just you can't ask for a better design than that I really like that plus in addition to the privacy glass you have the shade that pops up there and you got even more um, you know more blocking the Sun so like right now it's very very hot and there's the Sun over there so I can even aim the camera at the Sun with all this stuff and you know keeps you keeps you cool and also keeps you out of sight all right so here's the back seats and the back seat drivers are not going to be bugging you because they've got lots of cool stuff back here they got kind of you know just as much cool stuff as the front they've got a blu-ray player with a remote control they've got the ability to play around with their climate control and so they won't uh you know be complaining if it's hot too hot or too cold they can adjust it themselves plus you have the hdmi port you have uh, rca jacks headphone jacks it does come with you know volume it does to come with two headphones and you have a uh, Edison plug here for plugging in um, things open this up here all right there we go so there's your plug it's just like a plug you'd find in your house uh, it's a two-prong plug though and that way you can plug in stuff and charge like a laptop or a camera or anything that you need to plug in there you can do that it goes up to 150 watts, which is very substantial. And then you have this, um, your USB ports here for plugging in and, and charging phones and stuff too. And then the HDMI port is over here for playing stuff through the, the screen up here. So these seats have this armrest that pops down and you got some cup holders. Now, there's a third row in this vehicle and you're probably thinking how do I get packed do I have to like jump over the seat no one thing the seats do is fold down flat so if somebody's sitting back there they can put their feet up if they wanted to um, so, or you can help fold down all the seats and have a huge cargo area that's what it's designed for actually but also um, to access the back you have this button here you can push that button and it kind of gets the seat out of the way for you. Isn't that cool? So it kind of pushes it up. And you can step here in the threshold. Has a place to step. You get in there. And the seats are pretty big. Pretty big for third row seats. You could probably sit three people it looks like. And they've got cup holders. They've got vents. they got quite a bit of stuff back here for them. We got lights up here so all the passengers are going to be comfortable and they're going to have stuff to do especially on those long trips you want to have you want to have stuff to do all right so here's the back i'm getting the getting the key out of my pocket here sorry for that so here's the back of the vehicle it does have some led accents and everything back here and hopefully like i said i will be able to show you this stuff at night but before i open up the back i just want to point out this one does have the, the parking sensors back here there's little round circles that will let you know if you it'll kind of beep at you if you get close to something also you have this camera that'll let, that you can actually see what's behind you and this is the touring trim level if i hadn't mentioned that already so let's go ahead and use the key to open up. You just push this and hold it, and it opens up the, uh, the, um, the lift gate. 
And you could do this, at, you know, you got a handful of groceries or whatever, and you're walking towards the vehicle, you can remote start it, you can open up the back gate, you can put your stuff in there, and it's already uh, ready to go. So, looking here in the back, you can see you've got a pretty decent amount of cargo area. you got a place to hang a grocery bag there, as well as there. you got a speaker back here, pretty good size storage compartment there. A little bit smaller one here you do have a power outlet 12 volt there plugging in stuff um, but also this will lift up and you have some more storage space under here and this is where you can put stuff um, out of sight so nobody can see it also it's just you know gets it out of the way so it's not looking so cluttered you leave all the clutter out of sight and then people think you're not cluttery okay your vehicle is not cluttered when it really is it's just not visible all right so you can actually lower these seats down by pulling this strap it lowers that first and then you do that number and it just kind of flops down um, we just want to mention I don't know if you noticed that um, when you flop it down here is a velcro piece and so when you pull this and you get it loose you want to hold on to it and not let go because like what I did before is it flopped the, the strap over there so now I can't reach it I have to reach around the other side so just to mention that so that way you can pick it back up using the strap and sometimes it takes two hands to kind of hold it in place but anyway you do have the ability to have a combination of extra cargo space extra passenger space uh, like I showed you, that seat will fold down, so you have the ability to have some long box in there or something. Let's say you buy some long, tall lamp or something, and you want to have some, you have some cargo space and you have some passenger space all at the same time. All right, so lowering this down, you can use the key, or you can use this button here. I'm going to push that. It kind of beeps at you, lets you know it's coming down, and um, and if it hits something, it'll go back up. It's not going to. You know just like crush a shopping cart or anything it's gonna it's gonna kind of stop and go back up but you still want to watch out for your fingers alrighty so let's open up the fuel door I want to show you something there because this one has the capitalist design fuel port and you basically you just take the nozzle just put it in there pump your gas and take it out you don't have to worry about a cap or anything it's awesome so, I mean, it's not much to tell you other than don't worry about it. Just put gas in it and, and roll. Take a look at this side. It's different perspective. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Alrighty, so there's the Honda symbol. You just reach in, it's a little bit to the left, and you lift up on it. Right there, that's how you lift it up. Alright, here is the engine. It's covered up with plastic though. But anyway, there it is. Um, it is an IV Tech, 3.5 liter, V6. Yes, that's what I'm talking about with Earth Dreams technology. I'm going to leave a link in the description explaining what that is. So that way you can kind of read up on it if you want to do that. So a bunch of plastic is all in, all you can really see under the hood. But hey, it's a Honda. You never have to look under the hood anyway. You just get change the oil and keep driving. All right, so here we are on the inside. And man, I'm just like super giddy and happy to be in this vehicle because it's so awesome. So... This is, I'll just show you, this is, um, the shifter is over here. I'll show you that in a few minutes. But this has so many cool features, it's like not even funny. Did I mention it has a nine speed automatic transmission? Nine gear ratios? <laughs> All right, so here's the, let's go ahead and start over here. Um, driver's door has the awesome pockets just like the other side. You got a button to open up the tailgate you do have to push in and hold it and then there's your fuel door like i showed you before but real easy place to put your your stuff there 
and power windows. The front two are automatic, so basically you just push it and it'll go uh, without having to hold it, but the back two are, um, are not automatic, so you do have to hold them. Uh, power door locks are here. Um, you can turn off the power windows if you want to with that button. Now, the power seat has two uh, adjustment, two presets, I mean, and you can, you know, set them with that button there at the bottom, and then that way you don't have to constantly switch it back and forth if two people are regularly driving the vehicle. You can go ahead and put in their presets, they get in, they push their number, and away they go. Alright, so over here there's quite a bit of different buttons here. Um, to adjust the side mirrors, you just have to pick a side, left or right, and then you can use this pad here to adjust the mirrors. Um, you know, once, you, once, you, once you're done, you just put it there in the center, and, uh, and that way, you know, it won't accidentally mess up your already adjusted mirrors. Uh, the econ mode, that's the economy. You push that, and like literally it tells the vehicle with the engine, the transmission, the you know, air conditioner, it just tells the vehicle on every level that you want to get the best gas mileage, um, you know, and you're not really concerned about performance too much and, and stuff like that. So that's that's what that economy mode, and also what does, that button, and also you have this little green leaf thing that pops up there when you when you have it on. So it's, you're, you're well aware of that it's on. I'm going to just leave it on now. So right here is your parking sensors. It's on now, but you can turn them off. If you're backing up some, to something and you, you know you need to get close, uh, you can just turn them off. And then that way, um, you know, you, you're aware that you're close to something. Because sometimes you're close to something and it just keeps beeping and beeping and drives, drives you nuts. So you do have the ability to turn that off. Now this button is interesting. This is the like a lane departure warning. Um, so it, it actually reads the lines on the road. And if you start swerving over those lines without your turn signal on, then it kind of beeps at you and lets you know. It gives you a response there. Also, this is your traction control button. Uh, default is always on, but if you need to spin tires, like if you're stuck or something and you need to spin tires or something like that, uh, you can turn it off in order to accomplish that because it will keep you from spinning tires the, the system. So this is a crash mitigation uh, warning system. You can turn that off. So. It's going to let you know, hey, you know, you're running up on somebody and it looks like you're going to might hit them. So um, if for whatever reason you're in stop and go clock traffic or for whatever reason it just keeps annoying you, um, you can turn it off there. Typically you'd want to leave that on though because it is a very good safety feature. Honda did a good job with that. So here on the steering wheel, you have a bunch of buttons, but the steering wheel itself is a leather wrapped, hand stitched, bolstered, very comfortable and the the leather on the steering wheel is very tight feeling it feels like it's you know just a really high quality um, or high quality steering steering wheel so um, the bunch of buttons let's see here where can we start let's start over here we have your phone buttons and this is through your Bluetooth system and once you pair your phone with the Bluetooth system uh, you're driving along somebody all of a sudden calls you you listen to the radio the radio dims out even if the fan is a little bit blowing it'll dim out too it'll kind of you know get lower so you can hear and you push that button to answer the call and then you start talking and, and talking to the person on the other end and when you're done talking you just hang up here um, also if you need to make a call you push this button and you say call John Smith or whoever happens to be in your phone book you just have to make sure that it, you say it just like it's spelled in the phone book I mean you know in your phone book on your phone all right, so these buttons here correspond with your radio. You do have the volume buttons here, and you can change through uh, like uh, different stations going this way. Pushing source will allow you to um, change from like AM, FM, satellite radio, uh, USB, all that, the different sources of the audio. This button cycles through, and I'll push that, it cycles through phone, music, and navigation. So that way you can quickly go to the main features of the radio just by pushing that button. And then this is another button that can cycle through um, you know, certain screens on, on the touch screen. Alrighty, so here on the right, we have a uh, cruise control system here. And it is an adaptive cruise control. 
And um, so what that means is you set the cruise control. You set it and it pops up there letting you know that it's on. And when, you, when you're driving, you can push this. Basically, if you're driving 65 miles an hour and somebody in front of you going, is going 62, this car will slow down your vehicle to match their speed so you don't actually hit them or you don't actually have to constantly micromanage your speed. So this button will allow you to change the distance, the following distance from the person in front of you just by pushing, cycling through that. Um, so that's a really handy feature if you're driving and you don't have to sit, you, you don't have to keep switching lanes, you don't have to keep changing your speed or canceling and resuming and all that stuff. The adaptive cruise control is awesome because you, you don't even have to think about it. It just does its thing and when the person's in front of you that's, too, that's slower than you and they get out of the way or if they speed up, then you go right back up to your speed. Really cool. And this is a road departure warning system and it will alert you if you start swerving off the road. Um, so it has the ability to tell how I don't know how it does it but it tells you it tells how that you're on the road and if you start swerving off the road or whatever um, it's similar to the lane departure warning that you know it doesn't want you to wreck so it just kind of lets you know um, that you're swerving off the road alrighty so these buttons here correspond with the screen between the gauges you can see the gauges are really easy to read you got the big digital speedometer there you got the rpms there to the left and the the gauges there on the right you can see it needs gas because <laughs> it hasn't been a gas station yet but cycling through these buttons here there's a digital compass there in the middle everything's all colorful low fuel and um, tire pressure uh, oil life distance um, you can drive you know on with the current available fuel the range and all that stuff and these are trips trip a and trip trip b um, you know it, may, it gives you your distance your average fuel economy and you know how far you can drive actually and cycle through and that's pretty much the main features of that screen um, so you do have the i mean you don't, you don't have to go into all those features all the time so like tire pressure it's going to pop up and actually tell you if the tire pressure is out of range you don't have to constantly go in there and check it all the time just want to mention that there's you know those are just things that you can check on look at if you want to but they're not you know imperative to stare at all the time uh sort of like your fuel gauge or uh, your speed and all that stuff those are other st the stuff that's really prominent on the cluster is what you focus on everything else is buried it's not a big deal if it becomes a big deal, we'll let you know. So here is your headlights. Automatic feature is awesome. You just put it on automatic and away you go. You don't have to worry about ever turning on or off your headlights. But if you want to manually do it, you can do that as well. Your fog lights are turned on and off here. And the cool feature on the end of this is this cool little button. And I'm going to push it to show you. And it gives you a good view of your blind spot over here. So if you're trying to get over, or if you're trying to change lanes or whatever, and you just kind of need to see over there on that side, with your hand on the wheel, you can push that button, and all of a sudden, you're looking in your blind spot, which is awesome, obviously. Um, also, I want to mention that this side mirror, I don't know if you noticed that little line there, this little side, this side mirror, I don't know if you can see, that right there on the end is a little bit distorted. And that is to give you a better view of your blind spot as well. Isn't that neat? All right, so I'm gonna push the button again, get rid of that, because we're going to go a little bit deeper into the screen. Now this is a really cool touch screen. There's no actual buttons here. Um, you can like wipe this down with a towel and not worry about anything. So like actual buttons like down in here, um, you know, dirt and stuff gets around it. So with a touch screen, it's really neat because you can just wipe it down and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So right now we can see it's 721, that's the time. And then we have a uh, the ability to, let's just go here to this home button. So you can just kind of start at the beginning and right at the home button, you'll see you can go to the navigation, the phone, you can go into information, your audio, um, your Honda Link, rear audio, 
and you know you have different uh, like aha is a, a in and pandora these are things that you can go into and um like like those are on your phone actually but let's go into the navigation it's kind of like icons on your computer so the navigation is really colorful the, the colors pop out at you and you can see very clearly right where you're at you actually have a little um, picture of your vehicle you see the road you see the surrounded roads you actually see like you know green greenery and all that stuff really cool map all right so you can also you know put in a certain address and it'll take you there just like you know any other um, navigation system so let's go back home let's go into phone it's gonna ask me probably yeah I don't want to pair a phone but in here once you do pair a phone you got you got a speed dial feature you got a call history and you can you know really easy to make and receive calls uh, information uh, this is where you go in and this is um, you can get check this out this is you have a wallpaper okay so you can put whatever you want here now East Coast Honda put their wallpaper on here and then you have this big clock there with a cool um, with a cool wallpaper in the background isn't that cool it's like you have a picture of you standing in front of your uh, new new Honda pilot here at East Coast all right so let's go to audio you see what that screen looks like um, you know you change to the channels and you know different categories on the satellite radio you got presets there at the bottom uh, Honda link uh, this is something that you'd have to pair up with your um, your cell phone and uh, yeah I'm not gonna do that right now so I'll, 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 I'll put a, a link in the description to explain more about all the stuff that one does because I'll be here all night rear audio this is whatever your rear audio is doing it has a separate uh, system back there with the headphones so you can actually they can listen to something back there that's totally separate from you which is cool especially if they're watching a movie you don't necessarily want to hear it you can have your own thing going on up here so anyway those are the main features there uh, the icons in the home screen and then you have a volume here in addition to the one on the steering wheel and then you got this menu system push the menu no, I guess I guess the menu is only depending on where what screen you're in, and then you can go back, which I'm already back into the home screen, so I can't go any back further. Then you got a day and night mode. You can adjust that, the brightness of the screen, however you want it for day and night, and you can turn it off as well. Like sometimes, you know, you just don't want the screen to be in, to be on, so you can always turn it off if you needed to. I like that start button, nice big red button. So your climate control is here, it's a dual zone, it's actually a tri-zone because you have the rear zone as well. So you could basically adjust the temperature and you can see where it's synced right now. So all three zones are all the same temperature. So um, so let's say you know your passenger's griping, hey it's too cold. All they have to do is just start adjusting theirs and it unsyncs them. So that way they can you know have their own temperature. Same with thing with the rear, they can adjust there theirs independently unless you lock them out you know so they have to be nice to you so they can or you're gonna lock them out and um, so you do have the rear settings you have the fan speed where you want the air to blow air conditioning recirculate the air just want to mention something about recirculating the air it is a it keeps recirculating the same cold air so it gets colder but it also keeps outside air from coming in and that includes smelly odors so if you're driving by past a smelly farm or something like that you put push that button it keeps those um, odors from coming in alrighty so we do have the heated seats down here and there you have high and low on the heated seats this is where you put your blu-ray disc in for playing movies pretty cool you do have a power supply here 12 volt two USB ports are right here nice open place to put some stuff there cup holders okay shifter park you just push that all right reverse you lift that up now when I put it in reverse you have the backup camera pops up here with the guidelines wide angle view lens the what the guidelines really help out with the distortion because so let's say you see how this is really distorted on the corners because it's a wide angle view it does give you good visibility but since it's a wide angle view uh, this section right here is very just stretched out this is only a few inches down here it's a few feet so they give you that the guidelines 
that when you turn the wheel, it shows you which way you're going, but also you want to uh, make sure that you don't go too close. So that's what the guidelines are for. And you can push these buttons here to get different views. This is super wide, that's kind of regular wide, and this is kind of like looking at the ground. Alrighty, so, so that's reverse, lifting that up. Neutral is here. All right, so now we're neutral. Drive, you push that. Sport, you push it again. It goes into sport mode, and that gives you the best performance. It's kind of like the opposite of the economy, economy mode. It gives you the best performance you possibly can get out of the vehicle. Now, another thing in sport mode, if you want to, it's not required, but you do have paddle shifters here on the back of the steering wheel, so you can cycle through the gear ratios that all the, it's like a nine speed transmission so you can cycle right through those gears and if you need to downshift up upshift you have really you know full control over the gear ratios of the vehicle all right so at any time you just well it got to be stopped i guess um you push that and you go into park so that is your shifter you do have snow mode and um so snow mode is just tells the car that you're in snowy conditions and that the computer has some way of using the traction control and the um, and the anti-lock brake system something like that to keep you um, you know more in a safe pos driving position I'm not really sure exactly how it works it's it's pretty advanced so you know you just push if you're in snow then just push that and it'll kind of do its thing that's me that's what I got to tell you um, now this right here is this is a feature that when you're driving and you don't have the air conditioner, it doesn't need the air conditioner and all that stuff, it, if you're just driving and you come to a stop and you're just sitting there, the engine will turn off. And literally, the second you lift off the brake and put your foot back on the accelerator, the engine will already start up and go again. Um, this is a stop-start technology and you can turn it off by pushing that button. So. When you, if you stop, if you're driving this vehicle and the engine turns off while you're sitting stopped at a stop sign, you'll see this little A pop up on the dash. It'll pop up right up here. And that's normal. As soon as you look, literally, as soon as you let go of the brake, it'll turn right back on. And you'll be like, what? What just, you only might, might not even realize the engine turned off. It's it just so instantaneously. It's amazing. Um, but you can always turn that feature off if you need to. So there's the cup holders right here, opens up. And you have a um, pretty good amount of storage. There's your wireless headphones in there. And you do have a power outlet, 12 volt, and a uh, auxiliary and a USB port in here as well. Let me show you that. And let's see here. Maybe you can see it better with that. So, and also, uh, you can, you know, you can put stuff in there to charge and um, you know plug it in there pretty cool all right up here is a um, auto dim rear view mirror and so at nighttime it'll auto dim the, that in order for the, the lights to not blind you you do have tap lights up here for a quick reading light home link uh, garage door openers are right here and the place to put your sunglasses are here also, you have a conversation mirror, so you can keep an eye on the backseat drivers. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Okay, so the sunroof has a shade that comes back, like so. So you can open it up if you want. And so let's say you want to open it up. You can tilt it like that. You can close it. Or you can open it up all the way. And get some airflow and that's it right there close it up so it's been pretty hot and I've just been in the Sun a lot so I just don't want to have some Sun on me so I can close the shade just like that also up here to the right right to this uh, see this tap light you have this um, button now this is to turn all the interior lights on you can put it right there in the center position when the door opens the interior lights turn on or you can put it to the off position so even if the door opens up the lights don't turn on so that's convenient 
for if you have a baby sleeping or something you just don't want to have the light shining in the baby's face and wake it up before you go inside that kind of thing alrighty let's take a look at the visibility in the back All right, there you have it. 2016 Honda Pilot Touring 3.5 liter V6, nine speed automatic transmission. Are you impressed? Do you like it? Tell me if you like it in the description. Tell me what, if there's anything I skipped over or got wrong. Um, you know, if you happen to know more about this vehicle than I do, let's say you own one, you just went out and purchased one and you're driving around let me know all about it. Let me know your experience. I'd really appreciate that. And, um, and thank you to uh, East Coast Honda for allowing me to show off this awesome car. If you're interested in one of these, he, they can make it happen. John here, I'll leave his contact information in the description. He can deliver this vehicle or a vehicle like it to your house. Just send him an email and it's a done deal. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I do not work for East Coast Honda, by the way. Just letting you know that. Um, but they do allow me to, you know, show off these cars. So anyways, I work for you is who I work for. So thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, leave comments. And for sure, I've got lots of videos. So if, you know, if any of them are useful to you, um, that's what I'm here for. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.